what's up guys back again for another video here we are episode three it's the night of December 13th Friday the 13th gonna take out the lucky duck got the 6.5 Grindle super calm night out tonight uh, it's like no wind at all maybe one mile per hour and go hit a few spots hopefully get on some dogs and this video is brought to you by the company bang the sound your 6.5 grindle makes when you shoot a coyote <laughs> here we go guys let's see what happens so what you're seeing here guys is i was able to call this fox in to within 20 to 25 yards but what you can't see out of the frame because of the base magnification of this sightmark wraith scope is the fact that the way I am aimed right now runs parallel to the road right next to me. And there's a house to the north side of the road and just by chance, the homeowners pulled in to their driveway. They got out, they checked the mail. All this is going on while this fox is right in range. So this just comes down to bad timing, but I had to sit here and watch this fox as I can hear the kids in the car, they are so close. They're probably within 50 to 60 yards of where I'm currently set up at in this cattle pasture. Now typically this would be a very easy chip shot, but I decided just to sit here and watch this fox as I was sitting out there in the pitch black and I knew it would startle the homeowners just to the north of this property. I just didn't want to startle these people and them complain to the landowner. The fox moves on and I let probably 10 minutes go past and the neighboring homeowners are inside and I get back on the call and probably five minutes has passed and I have this nice coyote move into range. Man, I guess I missed that coyote. I went out there and searched for probably, seemed like an hour. Man, the way that thing jumped to the side right as soon as I let that round fly, I thought for sure that was direct contact. Uh, searched for a long time, probably close to an hour, and didn't find any blood. Hey, that's part of it. If you guys wanna follow a channel that doesn't edit anything out, doesn't hide any misses, make sure and hit subscribe. Um, all we can do is rebound from here. What an active little set there though. I know this thing's on, uh, zeroed it uh, three or four nights ago, I think it was. Hey, this is a true channel, this is a real channel. We get kills, we get misses. Hit subscribe, follow along. I'm gonna hopefully hit it hard tomorrow night, uh, get a lot more sets in, just have this one tonight. And here we are on to the next night. This is the first set of the night and I get out. I've been calling at this point for probably 10 to 15 minutes maybe. I catch a glimpse of this coon and then off to the left hand side of this coon, I catch through the thermal what I thought was a coyote. You can see this coyote walks up, kind of checks out this coon and then keeps on coming down the creek line. was able to manipulate the call just a little bit and get his attention. And then you'll see here a second one joins in the screen and I've got a double coming right at me.
All right guys, back here the next morning after Saturday's hunt. This video consists of the Friday night hunt and the Saturday night hunt. Friday you saw there, I did miss that coyote. I don't know what the heck happened. Uh, review on the film, it looks like I did shoot a little bit low and then the way he reacted, he just hopped over to the side. But man, whenever I saw him hop like that, I thought for sure that was good contact. But it was a clean miss, I did not find any blood. And then the next night, which was last night, I uh, left the house without this camera here and was able to connect on that first coyote that I called in that was actually a double. Uh, that was a smaller female and did put a good shot on that one. It ran probably, I don't know, 15 yards probably um, into a cow pasture. So I didn't have this camera with me. I left it at home and my cell phone, I tried to take some footage while I was out there and didn't have a real good light with me. So sorry I couldn't take you guys along on the track on that, uh, the recovery part of that. I always like walking up to that with you guys and the camera in hand, but the phone footage just wasn't good enough to put on here. So got a few pictures of it. I'll roll those through, um, but I was happy to put that one down after my Friday night uh, clean miss. I do have a new piece of equipment being delivered this week for coyote hunting. So make sure you guys subscribe, follow along. I'm anxious to get that out. Uh, start playing around with that, bring you guys some good footage using that. Again, I wish I had this camera or better lighting for my cell phone so I could have taken you guys along for the recovery job on that coyote I killed last night. But regardless, there's going to be plenty more guys. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below with any questions. I appreciate all you guys watching and following along. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys next time. Bye.